Loving this. Dog on our van, traveling with my girls. We're still down here at the uh, Escapees Co-op RV park, making the most out of it. So, how much longer are we going to be here? What are our future plans? Well, right now I'm just enjoying swimming in the pool. November down in Arizona, Yuma, 85 plus degrees weather, sun every day, beautiful. I don't miss the Pacific Northwest winter one bit. So, to find out more, stay tuned. Well, we're back. I'm out of the pool, dried off. We're back in the RV here. Uh, I'm going to take the girls out to the big dog park and let them run around again for a long time. And then we'll come back and relax. Maybe watch a little TV or something. And just enjoy the nice weather. We've got broken high thin clouds. A little breeze, which is nice. It keeps the bugs away. That's the best part of the breeze down here. Because without the breeze, the bugs just get annoying as hell. Um, the girls are doing great. They're loving it down here. They have my full attention on these road trips. And they just love it. They think they're protecting the home base and me. So they're always on alert. Especially Kate. She just kind of takes over for protecting this area. Sarah kind of watches what's going on when we're outside in the open. And Kate will protect all three of us. And that's great. Makes people think twice before they come up and try to approach us. Because Kate doesn't like people that are a little too forward, shall we say. And she's suspect of them. Which is good. I want her to be. Ah, uh, Well, let's see. We're going to be down here a few more days. I'm going to use up all seven days of my uh, dry camping time here. I was driving around out in the rough roads they have here in Arizona, Yuma area, and a rock chip flew up, put a nice big ding in my windshield on the passenger side. At first, I thought I was being shot at. It sounded just like a bullet. And I was looking, you know... Excuse me. I was looking back and forth and all over the windshield trying to figure out where that bullet went. And I realized when I saw a quarter size asterisk on the passenger side windshield, I realized it was just a rock that sounded like a bullet. So I made an appointment at a local glass shop in Yuma. And of course, they could only get me in uh, a few days from today, which luckily will be the end of my seven day stay. And then I'll have to go there and get the uh, stuff pumped into it that keeps it from spreading across your windshield on all these rough roads down here. And uh, after that's taken care of, we're going to go to someplace different. I'm really not sure. I got some places in mind down here, old and new. And uh, we're just going to stay down here a little bit longer, I think, before we head back north towards the quartzite area. Um, we're not going to be in Quartzsite at all after December through January and probably mid 
February because it just becomes a madhouse of people and traffic. And I've seen videos and walkthroughs of the big tent. And to me, that is just like the Washington State Fair on steroids. Pretty much the same. They might have a lot of uh, RV stuff to sell. But other than that, there's the same kind of hawkers and, and salesmen you'll find at any fair grounds. So, um, there are lots of places down here we want to go see. There's the Kirchner, Kirchner Caverns that I want to go tour again that are fabulous. Some of the best caverns I've ever seen uh, this side of the Sierras in California. And there's uh, like Fort Bowie, Indian Bread Rocks, places like that that are just really fascinating historical and geological uh, sites. So, um, I'm kind of hanging out down here waiting for a buddy of mine to show up. And hopefully he can get away and come down and join me for a month or two months or so. And we can do a little traveling together. But the girls and I are doing fine down here. Enjoying this weather rather than the crappy rain, squalls, windstorms, and just miserable, wet, damp, windy Pacific Northwest winters we usually have anymore. And I don't miss that at all. Down here I can go swimming in a nice swimming pool or a hot tub. I got a five-acre dog park here I can take my dogs out to. Or even if we go someplace else. It's wide open territory down here to go anywhere pretty much and roam the desert or the mountains or whatever. So, um, I guess that's all I have to say for this video. I don't know how many I'll be making in the future after this. Um, I got some in mind that I can make that don't have anything to do with our tours or our travels, but informational videos. I just want to find a good place uh, as a setting to make those videos. So other than that, I guess I can't think of anything else. The girls are in good health. They're all groomed. They look beautiful now. They're happy. Um, I'm doing fine. And uh, everything on the rig has been operating well. So uh, I guess I don't have any complaints about anything. Everything's gone pretty darn smoothly. And we're looking forward to the next several months on the road, not knowing exactly where we're going to go. Uh, the weather, of course, dictates that. We'll be down in this area doing something for the next several months until it starts getting warmer. And then we'll... plan is we'll... Uh, go up through New Mexico, explore that state, explore Utah, explore Colorado, and uh, I want to go back up to Aspen, where I lived and worked for a short period of time in the 80s, and see how that's changed, and Wyoming, and up into Montana. Uh, I don't think I can go to Alberta. I didn't bring my passport Things are so funky now. You got to do things that you never had to do before because everybody's in a freaking panic about everything. You know, turn brain off, turn on the panic alarm. That's about what it's become. Um, so anyway, I guess with that, there's nothing else to say. But uh, I have noticed an increase in views and an increase in responses to my videos which is very very nice you know i i was really getting dejected about the so-called number of subscribers you have compared to you know uh, uh viewers commenters and uh you know you figure you got almost 500 subscribers and maybe one to five people if that comment on each video, it's like, uh, yeah, okay, 
the other 395 are just phantoms. So, you know, if, if you're going to subscribe to my channel, our channel, the girls and mine, uh, and then have no, nothing to say about the videos, then, uh, you just unsubscribe because it's, it doesn't mean a thing then. I'd rather have people that don't subscribe and comment commonly or constantly, uh, than people that subscribe and say nothing or have nothing to say. It's just a sign of the times, I guess. We used to call them silent majority. And I thought the silent majority had grown a backbone and was going to start speaking up. But I guess, I guess that's how society has changed. Okay, so enough of that. The girls and I, as always, wish you guys happy trails and woof woof.